Okay. So let's go and let's find some shapes. We could go here and we could start looking for these different shapes, whatever we wanted. But maybe I don't know where the shapes are. Maybe I don't know exactly which of all of these stencils the shapes I'm looking for are in. And maybe I just want one shape. I don't need a whole stencil. I just want one shape off of a stencil that I can put on here. Well, you may have already guessed. Search for shapes. Type your search here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with radio tower. I'll click the arrow and you see it is searching for my shapes. It's looking in the big catalog of shapes that it has for something that matches radio tower and there it is. Radio tower. And just like all of my other shapes I can drag it out to my drawing but I don't need that just yet. I'm still creating a stencil. Now this is where I want you to be careful. Let's go ahead and let's pull this back over here. I want to add this shape to my stencil. Now there's two ways that I can go about it. I can right click on this shape and choose add to my shapes and builds stencil. That's the stencil that I've created. You can add to a new stencil which will go ahead and create a new stencil for me just like we did before or add to an existing stencil which will essentially bring me up a list of these stencils. So what I'm going to do is add this to Bill's stencil. Then what I'm going to do is open up Bill's stencil and you'll see that it's there. Now I could have grabbed the radio tower off of my drawing and dragged it over to the stencil. But see what it says here master.2 that's a different type of item. We're going to talk about master shapes and all of that kind of stuff in a lesson later on down the road. For right now, I don't want you to do it this way. I want you to go ahead and in fact, I'm going to right click and delete that master to get it off of my stencil. When you want to add shapes, I want you to go ahead and let's do another one. Let's say that I'm trying to map out a fallout shelter. I'll look for that radioactive symbol. We all know it. We've all seen it. And if you're old enough, you remember when we used to have to go down and have those tests of the air raid sirens. They would send a huddle us down into the school basement and hide under our desks. I'm going to add this one to my stencil like that. I've got a few other things in here that I've selected that we can add. And like I said, I'm just going to put a bunch of random shapes on this stencil. I don't expect us to ever really use this pencil. Let's see what else do we have. Recycle bin. This is a fun one. Kind of looks back on Windows 2000 if you remember that. As you can see, it takes a little while. Okay, now I've got a few shapes on my stencil. I don't need this stencil out anymore, so I'm going to right click here on the title and close. Now notice here the little icon. It is my save. It's a little floppy disk. It's the same as this, but this one saves the drawing. This one will save the stencil. That lets me know that I've changed something on my stencil since the last time I saved it. So I'm just going to click on that to save my stencil. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it up. When I want to get that stencil back, I simply I can go here or here. I like this one. I'm going to go to My Shapes and there's my stencil. I could also have chosen to go to here, Open Stencil, and it opens My Shapes, and we see the Bill Stencil and Favorites. Let's choose Bill Stencil and Open. Okay, we've gone ahead and we've added a bunch of shapes to this stencil. I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with it. Let's go ahead here and choose View. That's the one that's selected. That's what we have, the icon and the name. I can choose the name under the icon like that. 
get back here. I can choose icons only. Names only. You can fit more stuff on there, but it might be easier. At least it is easier for me to see what the shape looks like. Icons and details. Well, that seems like a waste of space to me. I pretty much stick with icons and names. You'll notice that my stencil got a little bit wider. We have any Excel users out there? You recognize that symbol. I can also go ahead and get my mouse pointer in between my ruler and this. Hold down my left mouse button and pull over to the left and resize that shapes window. I like it a little bit smaller, especially since we're using our Visio at such a low resolution here, 800 by 600, remember. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.